what's up everybody welcome to another edition of back to our roots homestead as you can see it is a beautiful day here in h-town and we got our old friend buddy back here y'all shrek is just hanging out but today is going to be another beautiful harvest day for us so come back and see what else we're harvesting today used to the city now we got our own land Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Plan. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants, plans. And we built our own committee. Yeah. From the bottom we advanced. Yeah. Back to our roots. roots. Now we get back to our roots. Yeah. Put on your boots. Put on. It's time to go take off your suit. So. Back to our roots. Yeah. yeah. Now we get back to our roots. Yeah. Put on your boots. It's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops right now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shrek is mad at us guys um, <laughs> We can't let him in the back pasture Because we are We are growing hay back here Or trying to grow hay back here So we're trying to keep them off of it and, and, Until it gets up So we kind of got them over in the other pasture And uh, he's a little salty about that <laughs> But uh, let's get over here to the What we got going on over here all right, good beautiful people. And it's hot, guys. You can see the the leaves are kind of this time of day they they look a little mad at us, but they always come back in the afternoon, but right now, man, they're they are down. It's I don't know what the temperature is, but It is beautiful, but it, it's a, uh, you know, sun shining. Y'all look at look at Shrek just pacing back and forth. <laughs> he is so mad right now. <laughs> But anyway, um, like I said, we have some more harvesting to do. For those of you um, that didn't see the last video, we harvested quite a bit of our beautiful, I say produce, because that's what it was. And if you did see it, y'all, we got some more that we need to harvest. Uh, we're going to start here with the cucumbers. You want to start with this one? Yeah. Are we, am I taking this off? Yeah, it's ready. Show it to this yeah. is as big as this will get? Yeah, it's ready. It's All right, y'all, I'm going to um, cut this, and then I'll show y'all. Y'all tell me if it looks like the, I told y'all y'all is my Texas slang <laughs> um, or twang. Y'all tell me if it looks like it. I think this is right. Is this the cute, the mm -hmm. jale toi? <laughs> Did y'all hear my little French? Mm -hmm. Um, Looks pretty similar, don't you think? Yeah. So is this as big as these will get? Well, I think, yeah, that's regular size. Those are the ones, Gigi, you have those too. So you know what they look like. <laughs> Just curious to see how this will taste. Um, so we have that one, and y'all forgive me, I'm gonna just drop that in there. And I believe this is the Chicago Pickling. Yep. Those don't get that big, they're they're meant to pickle whole like that, I think. Or... Y'all, I might go throw a little salt on this one and just eat it like a pickle. <laughs> yeah? I'm gonna move my big thumb out the way. <laughs> nice. Mm. Um, trying to move down the trellis here. Unless there's some more. Y'all can see there's another little baby one growing here. Oh, there's tons of them on there. Just, you look at all those flowers. I think next in line, is it is it the Puna, Puna Kira? Yeah. This is a nice one here. Yeah. And guys, the reason why I'm holding uh, the package up is so, if any of you are interested, curious, um, and maybe you want to try it, you can see what the name of it is because I know I butcher the names <laughs> and these did um, these are Baker Creek heirloom seeds yeah all of them are and the last one we got um, is the uh, market Moors. Uh, I planted those I mean I started those from seed last so they haven't come up yet but as soon as they do okay. we'll show you guys so we have that one yeah um so Y'all can see there's no cucumbers, but the cucumbers are growing. I can carry that. You mean um, okra? I mean okra, excuse me, y'all. They're yeah. like, dang, y'all got more cucumbers? And here's the Swiss chard, guys. It's the ones we planted out here. It's coming up. That one's struggling a little. Um, it's getting the most sun. The other ones are kind of more in the shade, and they're doing well. And that right there, guys, is pepper row. Pepper row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to move around. What do you want to do? Cabbage? Yeah, we'll get this one right here. Oh, I came on this side. Y'all, if y'all saw the last video, y'all saw me um, act crazy with that spider. Mm -hmm. So, 
just know if there's another spider in here somewhere, y'all gonna see the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, those are ready to come out. Trying to so get it all I'm out. I'm gonna be rough with it like you were, or try to. <laughs> and the, the the leaves are getting destroyed, so they are. But the cabbage, nothing on the cabbage, so. Uh oh. Let me close this. Uh oh. No, see, I can't do it like you did. I gotta cut it a little bit. So, do y'all remember I said, uh, didn't I say those were eggs? Right? Yeah. There's some right there. And you told me differently. Yeah, well, I got that from Diva. Diva told yeah. us that that's poop. Diva said, those ain't no eggs. <laughs> that's some boo boo. <laughs> I don't know if she quite said it like that, but <laughs> basically. So you're saying the cabbage need a diaper, huh? Something. Something <laughs> needs a diaper. Yeah, let's um, get uh let's get this one. Oh that, that one. one that one's fine one, too. This yeah. one's kinda pretty. Y'all these are pretty. And again, I don't know if these are gonna taste any different. Can I do that? Mm-hmm. To try to get in here. Okay, I was trying to be all gentle. Y'all probably like, girl, just get that thing off of there. Okay. <laughs> all right, now let's see. There we go. There we go. That's a nice purple cabbage. Yeah. God, they smell so good. They smell really good. All right, while we're out here, y'all, let me just give y'all a quick update on the um, kohlrabi, okay? Because I know y'all saw us harvest the kohlrabi last time and we talked about different recipes. Um, Miss Linda, I saw you and heard you smack on your kohlrabi in the video, <laughs> dipping it in your ranch. So here's what I'll say. I didn't, well, I actually did try to cook it at first. So my brother was here, Earl, y'all. Earl is very finicky, but he was like, no, I'll cut it. I wasn't ready to cut it because I wasn't ready to cook it. But he said, cut it, let's try it. So I cut it, or he cut it, got a piece. He's not a fan. He <laughs> said, I'm gonna just tell y'all can keep that Robbie. That's what he called it. <laughs> so it grew on me. I will say this, just by itself, eh, it wasn't bad, but I was like, no, I need something else to go with this. Once I dipped it in the ranch, definitely tasted better. But I'm ready to, I wanna cook some and try it different and so if anybody i know y'all have said that somebody a lot of people have recipes send them my way i'm ready to try it all right guys we're gonna get this cabbage off and we'll be right back we don't want to hold you guys up while we um harvesting this cabbage but we'll show you the end result okay y'all y'all see the amazon truck coming mr king of amazon that's right amazon king baby i did not just make that up <laughs> and I think that's the second Amazon truck today. Quit hating. <laughs> Alright y'all, so now we got the cabbage. Now we are going to harvest this broccoli. So y'all know we harvested it once. Um, can, you sh can you see that right there? Well we took the head out. Right there. So now... The, these are the little side shoots. And... You got to get them, guys, because if they stay out a little too long, you can see they start to... I mean, it's still oh, good, wow, but you can is. see it starting to turn a little bit, so... Y'all, this get them. broccoli tastes so good. Oh, the leaves were so good, man. Uh, yeah, they were. Yeah, turf, thanks, guys. Turf, man, I got to... You got a good point about these uh these leaves, man. These leaves with that mixed with that Asian kale, man, they, oh, were, my gosh. they were really good. Y'all, almost better than collard. Yeah. Maybe it was. I don't know pretty good and that's hard yay or nay <laughs> you saying body or everything <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> <laughs> um yay or nay to these they're kind of i don't know yeah you should get them they just bites okay now these are miss linda these i will dip in some ranch <laughs> all right There's another one, y'all. This one's these two right here, pretty nice size. I don't know 
know why I try to be gentle with them when I'm taking them off. <laughs> Do you see any more over there? Yeah, it's more over here. So y'all, while, while he's filming so y'all don't get bored, let me um make a, a tiny correction to something that was said in the last video. Um, And I gotta say it ghetto, like, cause I ain't no cougar. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I am only a year older, y'all. That's a long time. I mean, you was already walking before I came on the earth. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate my sisters online who have my back. <laughs> Thank you. Especially Gigi. She showed sure you. Thank <laughs> you. All right, guys. We're going to get these off, and then we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We got some pretty good broccoli here. We got some broccoli cucumbers cabbage now we're gonna harvest some of this um swiss chard y'all it's been on here for a minute but it's time to get this baby off too we waited a little bit um last time when we did harvest because i don't know why we just did well i let it grow back i mean i didn't know that it would with the heat but man it it, it did i'm on um, the other swiss chard over there too i'm surprised that it's uh still growing like that in this heat but Hey, as long and as it keeps, as long as it keep giving, we gonna keep taking. We greedy like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. All right, guys, we'll get this off and we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, just showing you the green beans. After only about five days, they're already producing another amount of massive green beans in there. So. These are really good. These are jade green beans from Johnny Select Seeds. So, just giving you guys an update on those. In just five days, they've already started producing uh, more more beans. And here are our collard greens. Um, I'm I'm gonna harvest them again here soon too. Um, they've done great for us this year. Can't complain about them. We got a couple that went to seed. So, but once again, as long as they keep giving, we're gonna keep taking. All right. All right, y'all. Um, this is a big boy over here, y'all. This is some kind of squash. Let me let me get a a good uh. Yeah, it's definitely ow, a, ow, ow, a squash ow. plant. Sorry, I cut myself. Um, it didn't but, get all the color to it, but it didn't. But y'all, this is huge. You know what? That might be zucchini. Let me see the bottom of it. Yeah, that's zucchini. Well. I did say it was okay. Yeah, you were right. But, like, it's a little different, y'all. <laughs> it didn't get green, 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 but. It didn't, but it got big, big, big. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. This is huge. <laughs> this is like, wait. <laughs> this is huge. Did we leave it on too long? No, because it, it didn't turn the color. See, normally it turns that color. Yeah, the dark green. Mm -hmm. It just didn't get it. That's one that we have inside. Yeah. Huh. We carrying like a football. <laughs> I'm a multi. Uh, what is it called? Multi-talented athlete. <laughs> That's a big one. I know you were just one. Look at that. Yeah, it's a bunch of big ones on there already. Yeah, yeah. All right. And guys, this is uh, all our peppers, pepper row, I call it. So, it's doing good. Well, here's our harvest. We got we got zucchini. We got Swiss chard. Swiss chard. We got cabbage. cabbage. Regular got cabbage. Regular cabbage. And we got broccoli. broccoli. And we got cucumbers. Oh, yeah. So, and we have um, some bell peppers we're going to go harvest. We got a few more things to harvest, guys. So, we'll see you over in the herb garden. All right, guys. So, we're over in the herb garden. Um, first thing we're going to do is harvest these bell peppers. Y'all, oh, that smells good. 
I love cooking with probably like all of you or most of you I love cooking with bell pepper and garlic in just about everything that I cook and those are blonde so, bell pepper ouch. I'm being dangerous with these cutters today that one just came off nice size blonde blonde <laughs> Yeah, there's one. It's a nice size one. Yep. These are pretty good. Yep, put them in the freezer. And I think there's one more trying to hide in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting those off will give the, all the energy that the plant is uh, getting and can put into those, uh, to the smaller ones. Sorry y'all, that one was trying to hide from me in there. Yeah, nice bell pepper. So we got four of those, and we are also going to harvest our uh, infamous bok choy <laughs> from our um, grow off. Grow off. Yep. <laughs> this is such a pretty plant. Mm hmm. Rob and his wife at Ession's Family Garden, man, they can cook bok choy, all the choy. They just, they have some great recipes. Well, Rob, listen, can, <laughs> can you shoot me over a few of those recipes? <laughs> He's always putting them out on, uh, on this thing. But... Don't, uh, don't, don't be like that. <laughs> don't keep all the goodness and greatness to yourself. <laughs> That's come selfish. On, come on with that bok choy. Yep, come on off of it. That's selfish. <laughs> All right, we'll put that one in there. And I think we have one more down here. It's not as big, but it's ready. Yeah. It's ready. That heat is starting to hit a lot of this stuff. I'm just getting it out. Yeah, because it is that time. Yeah. A lot of people harvest, harvest them at that size. Baby bok choy. Yep. So pretty. Yep. Man, we have some nice kohlrabi leaves here. So, I'm going to try these too. Everybody said these are good too, so we'll definitely try those. We'll definitely try those. Um, oh, you didn't give up your uh, potato. Well, you made you a nice recipe with our mint and what did you do? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been taking the and mint the and the lemon balm and putting it in hot water and... um. You can use sugar or honey a little bit, and it, it's really good. I've just been reading about what it does for you health-wise. Yeah, really relaxing the, um, the lemon balm. And the mint is really good for you, too, digestively and a bunch of different things. So. And you have been sleeping well at night. Yeah, make you sleep better. That and that. All right, guys, we're going to walk over and close this thing out. All right, guys, we're over here to our little seed table. And as you can see, it is 100 degrees. Yeah, you're a little off. You said 90. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move these these mystery seeds. I'm not sure what they are, NJ, but I think they're brassicas, and I know they can't take that heat. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna move those. Um, the other press, everything else is pretty much the same. The, it's apple cucumber. This apple cucumber. Yeah, we got to get it out onto the into a bucket. And and right here, guys, over here, Sorry. we we planted some more squash and zucchini. And the way I like to do it is stagger it so that you know none of us want to hear about the vine borers, but they are real. And so the way I do it is I stagger um, plants right behind it. So if they do get into those plants and kill them, we have another. A set of plants that's ready to go right into the bucket so we continuously get squash and zucchini so that's my method for dealing with it i mean i try to control it uh, with the bt or neem oil or whatever but none of that stuff seems to work with the vine borer so i just uh plant more plants and keep going and so uh and here these are the scotch bonnets and then i'm going to put in a couple more uh peppers um today it's a couple of more plants that we want just pepper plants so and we also planted some more corn 
Um, so I'm just gonna get this watered in. Rob, this is the uh, what is it? Sweet is it bantam? Sweet bantam this corn? The, yeah, golden bantam. The go golden, golden bantam. bantam. Yeah. And I, I needed to get some more amendments for the soil. I meant to do these the other day, but I finally got what I needed, so um, we can go ahead and get them in the in the buckets. And we just uh, they're gonna we're gonna get the grass cut here uh, in a couple days, so we're gonna let them sit here and before we put them over where we're gonna put them. And we're gonna keep them away from the um, peaches and cream, Miss Linda. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys so we just gotta finish up by getting this corn watered in and um like always say thank you to all of you for watching subscribing for liking for commenting all of the good stuff we really do appreciate it and guys we have a great time interacting with all of you or most of you no i'm kidding <laughs> uh, we have a great time interacting with all of you on um on YouTube so thank you very much and like always everybody and thanks for let me before you finish oh, thanks for the support guys um, some of the information you give us and suggestions you give us it's really helpful it's like I said we're we, we don't try to come on here and act like we know everything about gardening we don't we've only been doing it two years so I mean this is only our second year ever having a garden so um, the information that you guys give us is priceless so uh, just uh continue to give us information and we'll continue to grow um and hopefully one day we'll be in a position that we can actually teach but right now we're just on here to show you guys that basically if, if we can grow food uh anybody anybody, anybody can. can grow it so um just thank you guys yeah we um greatly appreciate it and you guys pretty soon we're going to do a video that's um just really talking about back to our roots and the meaning behind it and why we decided to um, start our nonprofit. We talked about it a little bit in the beginning when we first started our YouTube channel, but we have since gained quite a few subscribers um, and really just want um, to make sure that all of you who want to support understand the meaning behind back to our roots. So again, Thank you for all the support that you do give us. And until next time, everybody, please stay safe, stay blessed, and stay healthy. We'll see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Yeah, right now, right now. Yeah, yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots.